I'm Lasagna and today we have a 2021 Booga Booga Rail box. It's the Pika Pika box from the Pokemon Center straight from Japan. This is a Japan exclusive. So I had to pay way too much money for this to get it through a reseller. This is actually the third time I've paid way too much money to get one of these through a reseller because I just love them and I love getting blend boxes. I can't help myself. And this is my helper captain who yeah, he, Ooh. Ooh. This is him. <gasps> Look at that leg. Mwah. Back to the couch for you, Bubba. He's here in every video even if you can't see him. Alright, so today I'm gonna show you this box here. And then we're gonna open it. We've got Pikachu, Yamper, Score Bunny, and there's different art on each side of the box. This side's a bit caved in. Hopefully everything's in there fine. It's fine. Right along the line in there. I'm gonna finish doing the opening down here. Okay, really quick. Before we start, I just want to explain what a Fukubuku is. It's otherwise called a lucky bag. In Japan, every year on New Year's Day, a lot of businesses participate and they do a lucky bag. And you get a bag from whatever place you like if they're doing one that year. And it's huge. So most businesses do. And you get a bunch of stuff that would otherwise cost you a lot of money for cheap. Here we go. This is the Pokemon version. We have... Oh... This is a set of notebooks. Campus is a big brand in Japan. Oh, these are adorable. They're Pokemon dolls themed. The Pokemon dolls are a, um, it's a cute collection from the Pokemon Center. Uh, I think it's more gear, geared toward kids, but I mean, Pokemon in, in general is kind of geared toward kids, but this is, these are particularly adorable. Oh god, oh on the back of them. Oh <laughs> my heart. Uh so good already. Okay. Look at these. Oh, they're so cute. And they're just little little notebooks. Oh look at that. They have got a little Pokeball in the corner. I love these. I do have one of these. I actually did a so Goy Mart lucky bag. Um the 2021 last year. And I did get one of these campus notebooks. It was bigger and it had Jolteon on it. See the Pokemon dolls, it's like they're reverse dittos. Uh, instead of having like tiny little beady eyes with a blank face, they have a blank face with like really big doll eyes. <laughs> God, I love these. Oh, God, it gets better. Okay, so that was the first item. Yes, that was the first thing. It was a set of five notebooks. Love it. I'm gonna just put this stuff in front of me here. Ooh, I saw in the bag. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> A big backpack. Okay, so this is indeed a backpack. It's almost like um, a tote bag backpack. Got a little zipper portion in the front here. It's a nice burnt orange color. That is the graphic on it. See that? I'm gonna move it around a bit. Adorable. I love it. I feel like this is definitely an item for my uh, my boyfriend. The first two boxes had a lot of stuff for me. I feel like this is gonna be a gift for him. Love it. Okay. Okay, this is the Numbiri Life. I could be saying it wrong. It's a, another special collection. This is adorable. It's got little, um, it's got a fork, a cup of coffee, a spoon, donuts, this cute little pimple up with the bag. On the back, you can see there's a Pikachu in this set too. Adorable. This is a, a little pen to go along with my notebooks. Also from Pokemon dolls. Yes, 
the last two boxes we got, I didn't get anything Pokemon dolls. So I'm so excited about this. Look at the cute little wings. And the Pokemon doll stuff is also like super soft and adorable. Oh, this is a really good one. Okay. Okay, the blanket. So this was the exclusive item this year. And it's really funny because I bought three boxes and there were three blankets. And in the first box, I got Yamper. In the second box, I got Pikachu. And now in the third box, I have the Square Bunny blanket. So now we actually have all three of these special blankets this year. What luck. That's pretty cool. And this opens up, it's like a tiny little lap blanket. It's not very big. And you can see here, it's actually held together with buttons. So you just unbutton the plushie. It's a plushie blanket combo. This was the exclusive this year. You can only find this item in the Pokemon Center 2021 Lucky Bag. So this is the special item that everyone was after. I gotta start putting stuff on the ground here. Okay. All right, we have A. This was a collection called Hello Ponyta. And I actually have this right behind me here. I got it in a box earlier this year. Super cute and it's very, very soft. The tail and the mane, um, very cute. It's meant to be a keychain. And it actually, I Pokemon did a collaboration with the company that created Hello Kitty. And they did the Hello Pony Tech collection, and this is a part of that. It's a cute little tag. Actually, let me show you the tag from this last one, too. See, Pokemon dolls? Really, really, really cute. Okay, next thing. Oh! <laughs> Another Pokemon dolls. I love this so much. Gengar. Love it so much. Uh, see, they, they're they smaller. Um, they have bigger heads, smaller features. And look how round this guy is. Super soft. Love it. Okay. So, in 2020, there was a game release called Cafe Mix. And it's exactly what it sounds like. You make drinks. And you play as different Pokemon. And this is the uh, Eevee from it. Some of the plushies are bigger than others. As you can see. I mean, we're, we're probably going to get a bigger one in the box still. I was feeling around. Feels like there's some big ones in there. But this is the Cafe Mix Eevee. A little scarf. A little hat. Tag one more time. so much. Oh, it's a little Bulbasaur. This is something that I have not seen at all. Um, I've watched a bunch of unboxing videos for this box too. Um, everyone that I come across actually. And this is from the Pokemon Fit collection. And it just sits. Oh, I love it so much. This little flat face. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. This is a Aloha Festival. It looks like a keychain. Let's see. Let's open it up and see. Um, okay, so that's what the box looks like. Aloha Festival. And then there are different options of what you can get on the back there. I'm going to do um, another look at all this stuff once we actually get it open. Adorable. So we've got a Rockruff and the Sand Castle Pokemon is invading me right now. I'll flash the name on the screen. It's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Oh. Oh. Squirtle. I love the tags for all these. Um, all the tags are really awesome. They all have different art on them. Okay. There it is. 
Oh, there's the big boy. Okay, so this is just the larger version. Jesus. This is just the larger version of the small ponytail we got. Oh, you could really, really feel how soft this is. I mean, all of the plushes are soft, but the Hello Pony Talk collection is just like exquisitely soft. It's like velvety and it's extra plush. Oh man, this is definitely the biggest plush that we got. And this is the kind of stuff that um, like this alone would be worth about $22 US dollars. So the box itself, you would pay 40 US dollars for. So it's like just this one item, it would be half the worth of the whole box. And we've just gone through most of the contents of the box. They're totally worth it to buy it if you were actually able to get it for <laughs> the $40 rather than the resale price of way too much. Oh, okay, I've got a couple of things left here. Oh. <laughs> Also a part of the Pokemon dolls collection. Oh my god. This is so cute. Oh, tiny little score bunny. This is definitely the smallest plushie I think I have. Oh, it's so tiny. Look at the little feet. Oh, it's meant to be a keychain. One item left. It's more Pekko. Also a keychain. Ooh, that's the tag for it. Very cute. It's crazy how soft all of these are. Every single little piece of it is like the softest of the animal. All right. So that's actually that's everything. So that's everything in the whole box. So what I'll do is I'll pan out and I'll show you all this stuff. Okay, so this was everything that came in my box. Um, so in Japan, there was a lottery this year because this box is so popular. I was only able to get them because like I said, I bought them through a reseller and the... Um, the resellers sell them for a way marked up price. So I guess it's the cost you pay to get something that you really like. And to me, it's totally worth it. This stuff uh, retails for, if you look at the upper left-hand corner of the screen, that's about what it would retail for in US dollars. And if you bought this box in Japan, you won the lottery, it would only be $40 US. So the value is, is definitely there. To purchase something like this and it is a blind box um there are similar items in every box the pokemon dolls the pokemon fits um campus notebooks there's a lot of stationery there was there were some like kitchen supplies what i'm going to do is show you some of the items that i really loved from the other two boxes that i got as well after we finish talking about this one that's how we'll end the video but uh, if you like what you see in my videos, you can follow me on Instagram. You could just subscribe on YouTube. My Instagram is at Madame Lasagna underscore. If you want to comment on anything, if you want to like the videos, I would really appreciate it. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next time.